of Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. All that crazy stuff that I don't like. Vine, Vine's still around. Vine, nah, you, uh, Vine's not there. Uh, I, I can tell you old, Marcel. I had stock in it, too. I had stock. <laughs> All right, Marcel. Uh, of course, uh, Darnell, what do you got? Oh, man. <laughs> That's all for Aaron Rodgers. Let's get him. Who had social media buzzing during his epic game-winning drive last night to beat the 49ers. But it wasn't just fanboys tweeting about Rodgers' incredible night. Check out this tweet from Lions running back McGarrett Blunt. That was some real greatest of all time stuff by Aaron Rodgers. Now, we all know Blunt won two, two Super Bowls with Tom Brady in New England. You think he's throwing some shade at former QB? Shade? That's hard to read in. No way. That's shade. That's a goat. Hey, like, 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 it's a synonym <laughs> for Tom Brady right now, goat. And you use that same word, the same phrasing, for somebody else who's in the conversation. Slightly. Monday night, off day, LeGarrette Blunt might be having one. Might <laughs> 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 you know, be having one. And just talking off the top of his head. Yeah. Come to Cali. It's legal, boy. <laughs> Do you. Um, I, this, I, I, let me go there. I think this is shade in part because LeGarrette Blunt, two years with the Patriots, knowing that Tom Brady has the sway to make it three, four, five years and didn't make it that. And LeGarrette Blunt's like, look, I was your red zone guy. I was the guy to get you the short yardage, your touchdowns. You couldn't go to bat for your boy. So maybe he was looking for an opportunity like that. I, that was my theory. Maybe speaking a little too blunt here. Uh, <laughs> Darnell, what's next? Yeah, moving on to an interesting story for yeah. college football here. Ohio State defensive end Nick Bosa has decided not to return to the Buckeyes this season after getting hurt in September. I'm just going to leave school entirely and focusing on the upcoming NFL draft. Bosa was a preseason All-American and displayed to be a top draft pick in May, much like his brother Joey was in 2016. Pro football, football talk reacted to the news with this tweet. Nick Bosa has made the kind of decision that more guys in the situation should be making. We've seen guys skip bowl games to prep for NFL before, but this is pretty unprecedented. The more players follow this strategy? No, they have to be as talented and as can't miss as Nick Bosa. Right. right. Nick Bosa is a beast. Yes. His brother is the ultimate beast, yes. Joey. And so this is a no-brainer decision for him when you're this gifted and talented and can't miss. For other guys, it's a little more dangerous. Well, yeah, it is, I mean, because they're not in this position. But college, especially college athletics, is just preparation for the real world that you desire. Once you're prepared, peace. Get up out of there. Um, I had that same injury, and it's crazy. One of my regrets is not pulling a, 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 a Bosa when I was in that same situation. It's a weird injury to sports hernia, and, oh, okay, you could come back in six to eight weeks. You're not coming back to the same place. You're going to start somewhere else. He gets back on that field. He's not Nick Bosa. They start using that against you. So I wish I would have redshirted my second year in San Diego and just came back the next year with that same exact injury. So he's a smart player for doing this. Darnell, what's next? Yeah, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on the John Elway story. TMZ reports that Elway has donated more than $27,000 to various Republican campaigns for the upcoming midterm election. Elway's politics has been well known the past several years, where he has personally supported President Trump and one of his nominees for the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch. But the latest news led to police report Mike Freeman to tweet, stick to sports or no? Shut up and dribble or no? It's confusing sometimes. So here's our question. Is there a double standard for players and management getting involved in politics? No. There's a double <laughs> standard on Mike Freeman, and he must have skipped high school, junior high, college, the whole nine yards. Look, man, if oh. players want to donate money to political causes, no one cares. There's no controversy. It would be applauded. I keep saying, take the money and support the causes you believe in. This isn't going on in the middle of the national anthem. This isn't something that's being put in the face of fans. The guy has a right to support whoever he wants politically. Yeah, like you said, it's not thrown in your face. So even in that situation, I don't understand where Mike's coming from, but I told you I'm going on this podcast. I am going to discuss this. Would with you him. please take this Twitter <laughs> off with you? Yeah, I know, That's right? whole brand right now. You know what's crazy? Trolling. One of my best friends voted for Trump and didn't tell anybody through the election process because he was scared of the backlash in our circle. When I found out, I was like, dude, I wish you would have told us because we could have discussed issues as we were all trying to educate ourselves through that process. And he's still one of my best friends. I'm not mad at him. This is the problem with our world today. We disagree. Then all of a sudden, that has to mean I dislike you, which means I got to distance myself from you. Come on, y'all, grow up. It's not a problem with this. Yeah, I, I, I got to say, I've never voted. But, I, I, yeah, I certainly have been friends with some Trump supporters. I've been 
obviously love from uh, Obama supporters or whatever. Your politics don't make or break you no, a good person, no. and we need to stop that. Yeah, but you need to vote. No, we need to stop that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to stop. Can you stop? Darnell, <laughs> what's next? <laughs> Last but not least, you know my everyday routine is watching FS1. I right, Yesterday yeah. I was checking out The Herd, and our man Colin had an interesting take on Sam Darnold versus Becker Mayfield. Take a listen. Baker's two years older than Darnold and has double, almost double the college starts. Baker should be better now than Sam. I predicted Sam would be a, a roller coaster. Right now, completion percentage, touchdown interception, yards per attempt, passer rating wins. Darnold's working with less, a defensive coach, and frankly, he looks better. Does Kyle have a point here? Maybe. He's in love with Sam Darnold. Yeah, yeah. And, and the farther Colin gets away from me, the less I'm there to reel him in. <laughs> off on one of these I'm going to have a talk with Kyle. He, he's so in love with Darnold. It's too early to decide Darnold or Baker. Yeah, I, I'm with him. I, I prefer Darnold to Baker. But that said, um, the age experience conversation, look, Collegiate experience can only take you so far, and your birth certificate takes you nowhere. So I'm not going to go in and say, you two years older than me, you're supposed to be better. That's not how it works in the pro game. I think Sam Darnold just gets it. And I, I thought coming into the draft, he was one of those prospects that was going to hit the ground running because he gets it. He has that moxie. So respect to him, but not because of age and all that. Great job, Darnell. Wiener Snizzle. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, Darnell. coming up. <laughs> Richard Sherman had a rough end to his night against Aaron Rodgers. We'll give you our latest approval ratings 